All right, let's do this. I don't know why I get really nervous on talking to an ca actual camera. Talking to my phone is like so much easier for me, but we're working on it, okay? YouTube girl in progress. It's my YouTube girl era is what we're calling this year. Anyways, hi guys, my name's Kata. Thank you for being here. This is my cooking page, Cooking with Kata. Um, first of all, I'm sorry, the next door neighbors are doing construction, of course, the one day I decided to film a YouTube video. Um, so if you hear like pounding and hammering, they're literally doing it right now. Um, I'm sorry, but this is literally the only time I have to film. So bear with me. And I have a lot of fun things planned this year. Um, I'm also on Instagram, on Pinterest, and on TikTok. I'll leave my handles here for you guys to check out my pages and follow if you want. Um, I do a lot of healthy, easy, simple recipes. Your store is Trader Joe's. I'm a Trader whore. I started my cooking page during quarantine. It just kind of sparked a creative outlet for me, and um, now we're here. If you guys subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment if you have any feedback, suggestions, any other things that you want to see, um, and let's get started on today's video. today is a hot topic on a lot of questions in my dms asking how i edit my reels so um i have a couple different tactics that i do i'm going to actually take you guys along with me to film a recipe today um, i'm going to give some tips and tricks some equipment that i use i'll share my screen of me editing through my entire process basically of how i create a reel number one main piece of advice when it comes to making a reel is recycle your content so you're putting all this time and effort into making a beautiful reel um, you might as well get it on as many social platforms as possible so i post it on instagram on tiktok and pinterest and youtube shorts so those are four platforms that all have really strong audiences that you should definitely be posting on there i can go more in depth of each social platform and my thoughts and opinions as a foodie inspiring influencer i guess i'll call myself um but that can be for another video so leave in, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to, to talk more about that let's go through my process of creating a reel number one first what am i gonna film beginning of the week um on sunday or monday before i go grocery shopping i write a list of, of my four meals i'm gonna make so monday through thursday and then i think if there's like a specific recipe i want to make for example it's february so i knew i know i want to make a valentine's day recipe and a super bowl recipe so i'll kind of keep those in mind before i go to the grocery store and i will find my recipes beforehand never go to the grocery store without your list because then you'll buy stupid shit during the week when I have time to film a reel, normally it's after work, um, I already know I have all the ingredients and I already know what reels I'm gonna make. Now, that doesn't mean every single reel I post is planned because it's not, um, which is kind of the beauty of cooking. I honestly just want to film a recipe, um, but I don't have anything planned or I didn't specifically plan something in the grocery store, but that's honestly more fun for me because I can look at my, look at the ingredients I already have and kind of create something from there. A lot of other outlets I get inspiration from are Pinterest and TikTok and Instagram, honestly. Um, I like to see what people are cooking. I like to get inspiration. I'll look up like healthy dinners, um, healthy dinner ideas, um, easy lunches, uh, meal prepping. Like food, for me, honestly, food is a memory. So when I look up back on my childhood memories, when I look up at, at travel memories or like, time spent with David, places we've been to. A lot of my memories are from the food that we ate. I think food is so special. So that's another place I like to get my inspiration from. I need a water break. I've, I never talk this much, especially to myself. So still getting used to it. This is the equipment that I use. You really don't need a lot when you're first starting. I had my phone. I didn't even have a tripod when I first started making videos. I would literally just stack books and find like the angle for my phone. Um, I also like my videos like were <laughs> horrible um, when I first started, but why would they be like, everything is a learning process. My videos aren't like perfect right now either. I'm always trying to learn how to improve my videos. With that being said, I will say now the most important pieces of equipment that I have are a, a backdrop for my food. I've lived in several different houses the past since 2020 when I really, um, how many is that? Three years? I really took this page seriously. I've had some very, 
not aesthetically cute kitchens to say the least. I feel like the background of your food is a really crucial part of getting the perfect shot, whether it's video or your photos. And I have a white marble backdrop that I use. It actually folds like this. I'll show you guys later. Um, and it just, it's helped me create my content anywhere I've lived. I used to get messages that like people thought my background kitchen was so cute and I'm like, it's actually fake. Like this is not real. So then I started posting videos that was like what you see versus what I see. And it's like, it's, it's fake, okay? You do what you gotta do. Fake it till you make it. And the other thing I would say that, like again, you don't need it when you're first starting, but they're really very non-expensive ones on Amazon. The tripod for your phone, especially for when you're filming recipes, a lot of times your hand will shake and you won't even realize it. So just having it on a steady place where you can set it and work on your hands while you're looking at the video, I think are both really crucial. So backdrop and tripod for your phone. So my next important tip is gonna be lighting. My favorite time to shoot is during the mornings or during the day. Like I work full time, so that doesn't always work out for me. So I know when I know the sun's going down, especially during the winter very early. So I have to prioritize making my recipe right when I'm off work in order to get the good lighting or I can film it early in the morning. I also like to shoot right next to a window. That way I get the natural light. So the natural light with the marble background just hits so beautifully. So those are two really important things to play around with. The other thing that's been harder for me to film are when I'm making recipes and I'm showing every single step on the stove because that it's not something that you can easily move around, right? I have my fake background where I can easily plop right in front of the sun, even if it's on the ground, even if it's outside, I can move it. Um, but the stove is there and it's one spot, so can't move that. So just play around with lighting and play around with what you got. Final piece of advice before taking you guys along with me is honestly don't be so hard on yourself and just post the dang thing because if you don't start it now, it's never gonna happen. Um, I remember when I was first starting this page, I was like, okay, once I hit, once I hit 10,000 followers, then I'll start posting on my stories and talking to them. Once I hit X amount of followers, then I'll start doing this. I started thinking like, why? Why not just do it now? And literally fake it till you make it. No one, and who cares if people are judging you? People are always judging you. So post the dang thing and just have fun with it. Personality and show them who you are and what makes you unique. Film a pretty simple Valentine's Day recipe right now. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'll walk you guys through the process and then I'll show you exactly how I edit it. So let's go. Let's go behind the scenes and take you along with me of filming a reel. So here's the fake background I was talking about. I've had quite a few different ones from Amazon. I really like this one since it has the one behind it and the one under it. Um, that way you can kind of play around with different angles and it's still set up. Here's me showing you my tripod that I use. Um, I have a couple different tripods as well, um, but I like the smaller one because I can play around with it. So. First step, always clean your phone. Just trust me, you would be surprised of how dirty that thing gets. Then I'm gonna play around with the lighting. You can see I put my hand under my phone just to make sure everything looked okay. Um, and then here's kind of like the side prep. So I'm actually like preparing some of the recipe beforehand and I'm basically gonna bring it to the nice lighting and film specific steps um, because it just kind of works easier for me. And you're basically going to see me going back and forth from my phone, playing around with all the different angles, zooming in, zooming out, um, and I'm continuously checking my phone to make sure I'm getting the right shot. Um, I like to film a little bit further back because you can always zoom in um, on like when you're editing it, but you can't zoom out, obviously. Something else I'm pretty picky about is keeping the area clean. Um, so like, I obviously spilled chocolate while I was pouring that but I wanna clean it after so I can cut that part out. Everything can be edited, remember that. And here you can see I'm just doing some extra B-roll with the strawberries, I'm just getting different angles. The more footage you have, the better, because you can always insert more, you can cut, you can, like you want as much footage as you possibly can to play around with and edit. And work smarter, not harder. So I was cutting my strawberries in front of the camera. I did about two and it was a really uncomfortable angle. So I brought them to a different table and cut the rest. And then here's something I also filmed in the stove before. I had it already cooked and then I brought it to the camera. So I'm kind of showing you the behind the scenes from what my phone sees right now. It really is such a gorgeous lighting. I actually just moved into this kitchen not too long ago. So I'm still getting used to it. And it's really beautiful. I'm excited to show you guys the rest. I already know I'm gonna get hate on this, but my last 
little piece of advice, I guess, is that I like to film myself in this natural Instagram filter. I just like the nice lighting that it gives it, like a nice effect. I'm not using the one that distorts your face. Not that it even matters, but that's what I like to do to film myself taking huge ass bites of my food. <laughs> part of filming food reel is that I get to eat the food, obviously. Look how good these turned out. Now for one of my favorite parts, time to edit our foodie reel. So we have all of our content filmed. We're going to add it. I use the app InShot. Um, I'm pretty sure it's free and I, this is like a super sped up version, but I add all my clips and I play around with the timing. You can also zoom in. Um, I highly recommend zooming in so you get different angles of even the same shot. It just makes it more interesting. Um, and it definitely takes me so much longer than what it's showing right now. Oh my God, this is so funny. going to take some time to learn to edit and to learn your style so don't be frustrated take your time and i always export on the 4k and 60 fps so it's on the highest quality all right guys i've added my music and my text and here's the final results now that I've walked you guys through my process of how I create my food reels, I really want to make this an educational channel. I want to share my recipes. I want to share more behind the scenes. So anything you guys want to see, I, I really appreciate any feedback. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of fun things planned this year. And I would love for you guys to join me on my YouTube journey. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, obviously. If, if you guys take any advice to heart or if you try any of the equipment I suggested, tag me, message me, let me know, literally anything. Um, anytime you guys leave me a comment or tag me in your stories or um, DM me, it literally makes my life. Like, it makes me so happy and it makes me feel like this is, this is the reason why I'm doing it, obviously, to share my love for cooking and my creative passion with you guys, so. Sappy moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.